So on to the next bit. Once we've calculated our concentration of hydrochloric acid here, we can use this to now react hydrochloric acid with the sodium hydrogen carbonate. So looking through this practical, we can see we take 25 cubic centimetres of the HCl and put it into 250 cubic centimetres, a volumetric flask, so we're going to be adding 225 water. So what we are doing here is diluting the hydrochloric acid because otherwise it's going to be quite strong and it would more or less neutralize the sodium hydrogen carbonate straight away because there's not that much of this chemical in water. So we need a very dilute acid to react with it. So we'll be doing a calculation for that in a little bit just to work out, as we can see there, the concentration of the diluted HCl. Now, with regards to the practical itself, obviously the hydrochloric acid is within the burette, and we're going to be taking 50 cubic, oh sorry, 25 cubic centimeters of the sodium hydrogen carbonate into a conical flask underneath. Now, this should look fairly familiar since you did it in the first year. The pH, so since the conical flask is where the base is, the pH will be starting um, above 7 since room temperature we're going to be a basic solution. And then as we add the acid from it, the pH would get lower and lower and drop down to obviously 2, 3-ish across here as we've got the hydrochloric acid neutralizing it and turning it into an acidic solution. So just to, again, give you a rough idea of what this table should look like, if I say we started at 12.80 initially, 12.60, 12.80, 12.80, 3-0, change between these two, 0 0.2, change in the volume, 2 centimetres, so 0 0.1, change here, 0 0.3, and again, 2 centimetres each and every time, so 0 0.15 in there. You can make this practical more precise in terms of getting your reading by, say, if you know roughly where the neutralization is going to occur. Rather than doing it two centimeters, you could do 22 and then 22.5, 23, 23.5, 24, and you'd get a much better reading in that area for exactly how much of the hydrochloric acid it took to neutralize it. But two is roughly fine. So you plot the graph, again, y-axis, yeah x-axis from these and what we should say is Something that looks like that. We'd get a very sharp change in the pH at some point. We read down from this to get the volume there. And um, if I just pick a number, I'm just going to say it happened at 20. I'm going to say my big jump took place there, read down, and it took 20 cubic centimeters. Again, I'm just picking that off the top of my head. I've no idea. You would use your number from the practical. So write a balanced equation for the reaction between hydrochloric acid, sodium hydrogen carbonate, so HCl, NaH, CO3, Again, acid plus carbonate there. We get the salt, carbon dioxide, water for balancing it. One, 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 two, two, three. Yep, balance one to one ratio in there. So calculate the concentration of the diluted hydrochloric acid. Now, if we remember what we started with, 0.111, and then we took 25 and made it up to 250. 
So what we can do is 25 over 250 times that 0 0.111. And what will this give us? And pretty much see by those numbers, we've made it 10 times weaker. So this was the concentration of the HCl that we used in the second practical. Now, using the volume at which neutralization took place, calculate the amount of moles of hydrochloric acid used. It's a solution, so N equals CV. Concentration, we've just got there. Times, and the volume I just picked out off the top of my head, just said 20. So if we get calculators for that, 0 0.0111 times 20 over 1,000. And we sent the minus 4 there. Now, using your equation in A, up here, the 1 to 1 ratio, and your answer in C, calculate the number of moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate neutralized. Okay, well, I've just said there, one to one ratio. So for every one mole here, we would neutralize one of these. So exactly the same. Now, find the concentration of sodium hydrogen carbonate in moles per decimeter cubed. We need to rearrange this equation. C equals N over V. Number of moles. And the volume, 25 cubic centimeters. So that was the number of moles in that volume. Do not be using volumes from up there. That's just the total amount that you get to do the practical. And hitting that in on a calculator, 8.88 times 10 to the minus 3. And that's our molarity. Now express your final concentration in milligrams per decimeter cubed. All right. So if we've got 8.88 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per decimeter cubed, and I want it in grams per decimeter cubed first, and then I'll convert to milligrams after. To convert moles to mass, we are going to multiply by the MR. So the MR of sodium hydrogen carbonate, 23 plus 1 plus 12 plus 16 times 3, 84. 84 times 8.88 times 10 to the minus 3. And now all I need to do, convert grams to milligrams. It is times by 1,000. So just multiply this by 1,000. 1, 2, 3. And voila, there is our answer there. Thank you.